In .NET 8 Blazor, we've got a new feature called sections. Now, what is this? Maybe you've seen this already in the video of the Microsoft build, but in essence, this means we've got our top row here, for instance, and I'm just assuming you already know the default template here of Blazor, of a Blazor WebAssembly project. And in this top row now, you see this click me button here that you actually only have seen before in the page, right? So in the body of this main layout, so meaning when I click this button, the counter is increased, but now I can do this here as well. Funny stuff, right? And now you would think, well, Patrick, this is nothing new. Of course, you can do that uh, already with Blazor, but it would take a lot of work, actually. You would have to, well, create, let's say, a service or a state management where you then make a call to, a, to the service, and then it would actually increase the counter, you know, I think you get the idea, it would take a few more lines of code than these lines that I will show you in a minute. You can also do this for other pages as well. For instance, in the fetch data here, what I have is I just see the date of, well, the first day here of this uh, example set of weather forecasts and also the temperature in Celsius, right? This is also very interesting. And again, if I wanted this to do the old way, then I would have to store these weather forecasts in a service, for instance, and then access them uh, within this top row. But now there's another way to do this and it's really, really quick. And maybe you also know render sections from Razor pages and then you might get an idea how this is done. But now let's have a look at how this is actually done in Visual Studio. So here in Visual Studio, I just created the default Blazor WebAssembly project. So when you go to new and then project, it would be the Blazor WebAssembly app. And this is the preview six of .NET 8. So when we have a look here in our proj file, we see .NET 8 it is, and I am uh, using the preview edition of Visual Studio here. So 17.7.0 preview two it is. And with that, you will, for instance, see that here in the counter, and this is again, nothing new, the counter page, you see this component, the page title and how does this actually work? Well, as you can see here, enables rendering an HTML title to a head outlet component. And this head outlet component, you can find this thing here in the program CS. It's well after the actual head, right? Of our HTML file in the end, something like that. And this new concept now is pretty similar to this head outlet. So how is this done in the main layout now? We can add a so-called section outlet. So maybe here again, in the top row, we just add this new section outlet. And let me just grab this reference and put it into the, uh, the imports. So I do not have to write this every single time. And now we've got the section outlet and we can give this section outlet a name. So section also an ID, but more about that in a minute. Section name, top row, for instance. Right now, this means whenever I see a so-called section content component in one of these pages, for instance, with again, the same top row, then uh, the, the same section name top row, then this thing will be rendered in this section outlet. So here now we've got this button. And when I now say I've got my section content here with again, the section name top row. All right, now I can open this component close it here. And now the button will disappear from the page. But then we will see it in the top row application is restarting, let's go to counter. And as you can see, the click me button, click me button moved to the section outlet, I can click this thing. And I can increase the counter. Now in the little preview at the beginning, what I just did was to add the button here as well. Let's restart this. And by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not using hot, re hot reload, well, it simply doesn't work that great. I don't know why, but for me, uh, it it's, it's too often it does not work well. So I'm just doing it manually. And now I can click this button and this button as well. Isn't that nice? And again, I do not have to create a service and store a state or something like that. 
And again, the same thing here for the weather forecast. Real quick, a short reminder, the .NET Web Academy is opening again very, very soon. So if you're interested, check out the link in the video description below. We will cover everything regarding building web applications with the .NET Web API, Entity Framework, Blazor WebAssembly, Azure, Git, whatnot. Please check out the link in the video description if you're interested. There you can already sign up for the waiting list. Again, opening very soon. I'm looking forward to see you there. Now here, it doesn't really matter where I put this, but I can say section content with again, the section name, top row for instance. And here, let's just say, uh, we wanna display again, the, the date of the first result. So that would be forecasts, if it does exist, zero, and then also the temperature in uh, Celsius. So here I'm stealing this again, like that. Forecasts, zero temperature C. Yep, this could be null. And that's that. Again, we restart the application. Again, here's the counter and here now also the new data for the forecast. And that's pretty much everything. But one more thing I wanted to show you is that section name might not be the best way to call this it's somehow a magic string, right? So what you can do, just one way to do that. Here, for instance, you can open a code block. And now let's just say we uh, want to add an ID, right? So what we can do is enter a public static section content and say here top row new and now instead of section name we just say section id is section is top row like that and now when I go to the fetch data page, for instance, here as well, section ID is now main layout and then top row. And again, same thing for the counter. So here, instead of using the magic string, you just say main layout top row. Again, we can wrap this in a static class, for instance, so we would see main layout section, something like that. And now when we restart this, it should just work the same, correct? We see the date and the temperature and also the click me buttons. So that's it already. I just want to spread the word here regarding this new sections feature. What do you think? I would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much. And please, if you like this tutorial, learn something, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care.